fastball is clobbered to deep left field, and it is gone off the facing of the second deck. Oh, Rajay Davis stays red hot. His second home run of the series, and the Indians once again will play from in front. Runner goes, 3-2 pitch, hit to right field. In comes Carrera. He dives, can't make the play. And Naquin's going to be able to score from first base. He's coming around third. He will score. Rajay is right on his tail. And the throw to the plate is not in time. Ball skips away. But Rajay went back to third. So an RBI triple for Rajay Davis. It's a one-run game. It's Davis. Rajay Davis with one. a base hit. And it gets by the center fielder, Pawar. Davis around second, and he'll put the brakes on there. Boy, he thought about it. So he's one hit away from the cycle, and that's the easy one, the single. And a base hit for Rajay Davis. And he just hit for the cycle. How about that? That was lost in that last inning, but he sure did. He's the eighth Indians player in history to hit for the cycle. First since Travis Hafner back in 03, and a nice hand from the former Blue Jay faithful. So Tehran ready here to deal with Brock Holt leading it off. Fly ball, left field. Johnny Gomes going back. He will play it off the scoreboard, and it gets by him. Holt will pull it up around second base with a double to get the bottom of the first inning started. Line to right, and Brock Holt has a base hit with two outs, his second hit of the day. Fly ball struck well to left field and may grab some wall or not. Up above it for a home run. Opposite field for Brock Holt. His third hit of the day is a home run, and the Red Sox take a 6 2 lead. Three hits in the game for Holt, three for four. He's got himself a double, a single, and a home run. He's a triple shy of hitting for the cycle today. Fly ball headed towards the triangle. <laughs> this one goes back and it's going to roll around. Heading for third base and trying for the cycle as a run will score will be Brock Holt. He's got the cycle and the Red Sox have a 9 2 lead. Again, the 1 2. Belted to left center field. Revere going back, still going back at the track at the wall. And he, uh, he dropped the ball. The ball came out of his glove when he hit the wall. Hamilton will score. Beltre going to third. He's in with a head first slide. And the Rangers lead one to nothing. Off the uh, wall right in front of the Twins dugout and that bullpen. And he lines one down the left field line. That'll score Kinsler. Beltre not stopping at first. He's going to second. The throw is late. And Adrian Beltre, a double and a triple, another RBI. The Rangers lead five to nothing. Did you know a long look in? Now the right hander goes to the wind. The 2 2 pitch. Hammer to left field. Going back and looking up is Dovet. Goodbye. Adrian Beltre, a solo home run, his fifth in the last three games, and the Rangers lead seven to nothing. Well, there's the double, the triple, and the home run. Boy, he is just pounding the ball. Batting average at 314 for Beltre. And he has it, a base hit to right field. Adrian Beltre with the cycle for the Rangers. The fans knew that. Look at them all. They jumped up the minute that ball went into right field. And Beltre was not going to leave any suspense about the whole thing. First pitch he saw, he crashed through the hole on the right side. And a standing O for the Rangers third baseman, Adrian Beltre. Freddie rips one toward the right field corner. Bruce will have to chase that all the way to the wall. And Freddie Freeman is in at second with a one-out double. Side saddle and comes to the plate. And it's lined to right center field, tracking it and trying to cut it off, but he can as Bruce. That's going to roll to the wall. Freddie Freeman thinking three. Here he goes to third. The relay late. Freddie Freeman flying around the bases. Hit that bag at second. Lean low like a greyhound. In the air, left field, deep going back is Duvall, still going. There's the homer over the left field fence. We got a tie ball game. It's 6 6. Cycle. In the air, right center field. That's down for a base hit. And Freddie Freeman has hit for the cycle. And Freeman wants that baseball for the trophy case, and you can understand that. And he shoots one on the line. Crawford's 
scores. Longoria scores. Ball's going to go to the wall. Kepler will score. Upton goes to third. He'll stop there, and that clears the bases. That will make it a 4 nothing game. It started as a line drive that got over Cano's head. And here with a team that doesn't score a lot of runs like Kansas City, I, I, I got to give it to him. There's a shot back into deep left center field. Well hit, Harrison on the run, off the wall. Upton into second with a stand-up double. Well, BJ has a triple and now a double. The White Sox are leading eight nothing over the Tigers in the eighth. Hey, there's a drive into right center field. That ball's well hit. It is gone. Home run into right center field. BJ Upton hits his 11th home run of the year. A two-run shot. And Upton is having a big offensive night. The one-two. And there's a line drive. Cycle driving in his sixth run of the night. That will make it a 12 to 1 game. Is it one off the third deck for Sack? There's another line drive into the corner. Yeah, that'll help the batting average again. He is a special, special talent. Kirby Puckett. Wow. This ball is hit well to right center field. Did he do it again? No, it's in play off the top of the wall. What did that hit? Almost that fastball back inside again, not letting him extend. Doesn't matter. He's down three for three. He's going to have another extra base hit. In fact, it goes all the way to the wall. And for a moment, I thought he'd have a chance at a triple. He's now got a single, a double, and a triple. A walk-off home run to produce a cycle. That would be a nice way to conclude a Saturday night in front of a sellout crowd of more than 48,000. Little Pony, Carlos Gonzalez. Oh!